creating your vector repeat patterns using automations, for example, by using my automated uh, pattern templates is definitely something that can speed your workflow and it can ensure that your pattern repeat is mistake free every single time. So far, I have released uh, two courses about creating automated patterns in Affinity Designer. And for both of those courses, one of the most uh, common questions that I get is how to fix overlapping issues when you're creating patterns using those templates. So the fix is actually much easier than you think. And in this video, I wanted to show you a few options that you have to choose from to fix uh, your overlapping pattern. For those of you who are new to the topic of automated patterns, in Affinity Designer, which is one of the best alternatives to Adobe Illustrator, you can create special automated uh, documents where you can build a repeat pattern, a seamless pattern as you draw. So no calculations or no maths uh, using the Transform Studio are needed. So let's dive in right into our Affinity Designer interface. As usual, I will be showing my demonstration on my iPad, also showing uh, the layers panel and some gestures, but I just want to underline that those principles apply to any version of Affinity Designer, and that includes the desktop version. I will be giving examples of how you can fix overlapping issues using automated templates by showing you a few half drop repeat examples, but I wanted to underline that the principles that I'm showing here, they apply for any shape. So in case you also have a standard repeat uh, template or a diamond repeat template, uh, it's going to be basically the same. And something that I uh, mentioned at the beginning is that if you are creating, for example, ditzy floral patterns or any ditzy patterns, with uh, loosely scattered elements that do not overlap and do not touch, then there won't be any issue at all. In this short demonstration, I will be showing you how I'm hip hip fixing uh, some overlapping issues on this very overlapping botanical pattern here. Uh, I will go to my layers. I have a few explanations that I pasted in here so that it's easier for me to explain things. And I will bring back my guide. So you will recognize probably if you've taken my courses that this is an automated template for a half drop repeat because my pattern tile repeats uh, beautifully from up to the bottom, so vertically, but then horizontally it is moved to the side and then offset by half. I hope that, uh, that you can see that my guide is in this bright, um, bright green color, yeah. <laughs> And also when I switch off my background layer, you will see that indeed this middle pattern tile is the canvas, the actual canvas. So rule number one when fixing overlapping issues is that you have to fix overlapping issues that concern only this main pattern tile. So let's bring back the background. How can you recognize where your main pattern tile is? You can use the preview mode button over here and through this button, you can activate clip to canvas. So by tapping, we will be able to clip the rest uh, of the elements that are outside of our original canvas. I'm working on a 4000 pixel square canvas here. And if you want to bring back and see all the other elements that are around, you just have to press this button. Clip to canvas is also available through the hamburger menu canvas and then clip to canvas. So this would be our original uh, pattern tile. Maybe you have noticed that one uh, flower here has indeed those overlapping issues. You can see it right here that some of the leaves should be in the background, but they're actually in the foreground. However, when we clip our canvas and we reveal only the main pattern tile, this flower should be repeated from top to the bottom you will see that over here, everything is actually okay. See, you can also see this uh, very faint line that tells you, okay, this is where my main pattern tile uh, starts. Over here, everything is okay. That means that this area over there 
will not be taken into account. So if you see any overlapping weird uh, formations that happen outside of your original uh, canvas, which is your original pattern tile, just ignore them. But indeed, this needs to be fixed because this flower is on my original pattern tile. Because it's a half drop repeat, this flower repeats, it goes to the side and by half to the bottom. So on the other side, you see that everything is as it should be. So now I'm on the other side, but that's not the point because everything has to overlap perfectly on the main pattern tile. So like I said, this one we are ignoring because it's outside of our main pattern tile anyway. So this one doesn't matter, but we need to fix this one. And one way to fix that is by moving things around. So what does this operation mean? It means that if you have any overlapping issues on this left side here for a half drop repeat pattern, you can try using the move tool, moving the objects around by moving them on a diagonal to the other side. So this flower over here is kind of in the upper left corner. So we will try to move the entire flower from this, this upper left corner to this uh, this place over here that it looks correctly because we will be fixing everything on the main pattern tile. So from the move tool, I can double tap on this flower to make sure that it's selected uh, properly. This flower was actually in the other symbol, so I have to deselect it and I have to tap it here. Okay, now I see that this is the flower that I have to move because it's in, see, it's in this pattern folder that I am working on. So this is the flower that needs fixing. Sometimes you have to move things from left to right and sometimes you have to move them from uh, right to left. You just have to make sure that you're in the main uh, symbols folder that you're working on. So from the move tool, I have the entire flower selected. And now remember, I have to move it uh, at a diagonal to the other side to see if this will fix it on the main pattern tile. So let's do this. Let's move this flower. And with the live, uh, this automated live pattern preview, you see those changes happening in real time. Let's maybe also bring back the background. And now you're doing the best, zooming in also to place it so that you're happy with your overlapping. Now it's kind of messed up over here. So you might also want to, it will be like a domino effect. You will want to fix uh, this element over here. That's why as you're drawing your patterns, you have to be very mindful right away and you have to fix any overlapping issues as you go and not when you're finished with your pattern. So you draw, you're being mindful. And if you right away see any overlapping issues, that's when you fix them. Okay, so now here everything is okay. It's overlapping properly. I again clipped my canvas to see my main pattern tile. But now we need to fix this. <laughs> so one way to do that, by the way, is if I tap on the stem, one way to do that is to fix uh, things by moving them on the note tool. So sometimes uh, the note tool switches itself um, on automatically from the move tool. Now from uh, this tool, you see all the nodes. With this uh, selection tool, I can select those two points, those two nodes, and I can move them manually. Then I will also have to fix this leaf over here. Okay, now it looks good. And with this leaf, I can decide, let's maybe move to the move tool. You can either just move it, resize it, or again, you can use the previous technique, moving it at a diagonal. So if it's messed up here in this lower right corner, you will have to try moving it to the upper left corner. Let's try that. Okay. From the move tool. Uh -huh, so that will be this leaf over here. I will start moving it at a diagonal and I will just focus on this area here, which is on the main pattern tile and see if I'm happy 
with how it looks. Ta-da! Looking good, okay. Remember, what happens outside doesn't matter. And let's do the same with this leaf over here. Okay, so now I have to focus a little bit. It has to be moved over there. See, it's moving. We can see it in real time. And now I'm paying attention again to this corner. Okay, great. Now it's working. So sometimes you have to move objects at a diagonal. You just have to experiment. If it does help you, then switch off the background and uh, focus on the main pattern tile. So we were moving actually from the upper left corner mainly to the lower right corner. But it might happen that um, depends how you drew it, you know, have you, how you drawn it in the first place. But sometimes you have to go the other way around from the lower left corner to the upper right corner. And sometimes you also have to make changes from top to bottom. To wrap it up, this is how you can fix uh, overlapping issues when using automated templates in Affinity Designer. From the move tool, you can experiment with moving your objects up and down or at a diagonal to see if that fixes the problem. Focus on your main pattern tile. So if you see any issues, things looking weird outside of your uh, main pattern tile, just ignore them. They do not matter. What matters is your output, which is this main uh, canvas that will be exported when you hit export. And then another thing that you can do is to use the note tool and to play around with the nodes so that you can fix any issues and manipulate your shapes so that they are more to your liking. And again, if this helps, deactivate uh, here by uh, using Clip to Canvas, deactivate the whole uh, objects view, focus on the main pattern tile and make sure that the main pattern tile is fixed. This is the solution that you can apply to any type of shape. If you had a standard repeat pattern, you wouldn't probably be moving on a diagonal. You would be moving objects from top to bottom and vice versa, or from left to right and vice versa. In a diamond repeat pattern, you would probably be moving up and down, left and right, and also at a diagonal. I hope this helps. Let me know in the comments section if you have any further questions or if you would like to request another explanation video. See, the solution is quite easy. Of course, don't hesitate to ask me any further questions. You can reach out, for example, in our uh, Facebook Affinity support group. You can approach me uh, personally through email, of course, or over Instagram, but sometimes I'm not able to reply right away. And our Facebook Affinity group is full of very supportive and very helpful people. So if you would like a quick answer, then it's better to reach out in this group. If you're just starting off uh, with the program and you enjoy drawing on the iPad, then make sure to check out one of my uh, mini tutorials about essential iPad gestures for the Affinity Designer iPad version. I hope that you like this mini tutorial. I will see you in class. Bye bye.